the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 7 and verse 7. Surely oppression maketh the wise man mad, and the gift destroys the heart. So sis, we are mad. We are upset because we're oppressed today. Right. You understand? I understand that, uh -huh. but we have to fight with the truth. This is the truth. Anger. This is the truth. Let me ask you. What is your ethnicity? What's your nationality according to this sign right here? Do you see yourself on here? My nationality? Uh -huh. I do not have any nationality because I'm saved. I was Jewish. But when is that according Lord, to the Bible? I was Jewish. When the Lord raised me, I'm no longer Jewish. I'm no longer slave. I'm no longer free. I'm so you're saved? I'm saved. Do you have a job? Through Jesus Christ. Do you have a job? I don't have a job now from the world. I do you have a husband? The the law is my husband. Okay. Do our people get shot down in the streets day to day? We have to fight with the truth. No, as, answer they the question. Do they down. get shot down? They do. We are not free, sister. Right. They We're do. not saved right, right. now, sister. Well, you know, no, I, I want to show you this. That yeah. Your nationality matters because we're not saved. Bring it out! A saved people don't go around saying that they're not a nationality. Right. A saved people don't go around saying that we just have to love people while we're getting right. shot down in the street right. every day. Hallelujah. Read this. The book of Numbers, listen, listen, chapter listen, 1 and listen, verse 18. And they assembled all the congregation together on the first day of the second month. So the Israelites assembled all the people together on the first day of the second month. Read. And they declared their pedigrees. Sister, what's a pedigree? A pedigree is your nationality, your lineage, your genealogy, where you come from. Read. This is how they're going to tell you what you are. This is how you're going to be able to identify yourself on this side. And they declared their pedigrees after their families by the house of their father by the house of your father the house of your father that tells you who you are so i'm gonna ask you again what is your father's nationality on this side my father's nationality yes is the god of israel give me matthews chapter uh 15 24. because he's the god of israel correct but yes. you said you're not a nationality right why not I'm you're not, not? okay why get this not? I'm not. The book of Matthew, chapter 15 and verse 24. Because Christ came for a specific group of people. Right. He didn't come for the whole world. Bring it up. Okay. Israel. Listen. We're not listen, speaking listen, about But he answered listen. and said, I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. He's not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Hold up this sign, bro. These are the 12 tribes of Israel. Right. These Bring are the lost out. sheep. These are the brothers and sisters that walk around Crenshaw and Imperial calling Hallelujah. themselves black, Hallelujah. calling themselves African American, Hallelujah. calling themselves Hispanic, Hallelujah. calling themselves Native American, Hallelujah. calling themselves not a nation. Hallelujah. These are people. Hold where you went. Give me Isaiah chapter 1 and verse 3. These are the people. This is why this matters. This is love, bro. Do you see yourself on this side? You and the sister right there. Do you see yourself on this side? Right? Hallelujah. Okay, what I want to say is, uh -huh. be Israel is not the Israel we see. That is it's right. the Israel in the spirit. No, that is yes, wrong. Yes, the Israel that is wrong. in the spirit. Oh, no, nope. give me Romans. Give me Romans 9. Hold on, we're going to see if the Bible out. says what you're saying. Bring it out. Because uh, if any man speak, let him speak as the oracles of God. First right, Peter right, right. 4 and 11. Right. Okay, that goes for the sisters too. Right. Now, if I'm going to believe you, I will call God a liar. I have to believe God. Read. The book of Romans chapter 9 and verse 3. For I could wish that myself were a curse from Christ. So this is the apostle Paul. He said, I could wish that I was a curse from Christ. Read. For my brethren. For his brethren. His brethren. What does that mean? Do you know what that means? Brother. Your brother. Right? Read. My kinsmen. His kinsmen. Or as we say in the hood, kinfolk. Right. His kinfolk. Read. Not Read. spiritual. Read. According to the flesh. What? According to the flesh. No, that's that spirit, brother. According to the flesh. It says according to the flesh. Right. Your skin, right. your ethnicity, your bloodline. Read. Who are Israelites? Who are what? Who are Israelites? Who are Israelites? There is no spiritual Israel in this Bible. Right. 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 Hold where you at. We're going to come right back. Give me John chapter 7, verse 38. Bring it out. Bring it out. Because you have to understand one thing. When you learn to love yourself, then you can love your people. Right. But if you don't know who you are, how can you love yourself? Teach. Right. You understand? You have nothing to teach your people because you don't even love you yet. Teach. Read. Bring it out. The book of John, chapter 7 and verse 38. Uh-huh. 
He that believeth on me, uh -huh. as the scripture hath said. He that believeth on the Son of God Christ, as what? As the scripture hath said. No, as I feel in my heart. As the scripture hath said. As my pastor hath said. As the scripture hath said. Read. Out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. Rivers of living water shall flow out of your belly when you believe on the Son of God as the scripture has said. Right. Christ said he was, he was a curse from Christ for his brethren, for his kinfolk, according to the flesh, Hallelujah. not according to the spirit. Right. Read. Right. Chapter 9 and verse 4. Who are Israelites? Uh -huh. To whom pertains the adoption? Now pay attention, that's the possessive word. I know we don't get the best education, but we can speak English. Whom means pertaining to. Singularity means it's mine. Right? I say that phone that she got, if that's hers, I'm gonna say, whom does this belong to? She's gonna say me. Right. He said, whom pertaineth, read? The adoption. The adoption. Being adopted back as children of the Most High God pertains to the Israelites. Read. And the right. glory. And the glory of the kingdom and the promises pertain to the Israelites. Read. And the covenant. And the covenant, how do you spell that? C-O-V-E-N-A-N-T S S means plural Old Covenant and New Covenant There ain't no heathens getting in the kingdom Read it out Read And the giving of the law And the giving of the law is given to you so-called Black, Hispanics, and Native Americans But you don't want to keep it though You don't want to come back to your heritage as an Israelite You want to call yourself not a nation You'd rather be black You'd rather be from some sect you are kings of this earth! Right. 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 And your job is to keep these commandments. What you got, sis? Do you believe in Christ? We just Will read it. Christ? We just read it. Understand that. We have to keep these commandments. Give me revelation. Now listen, there is something you gotta do. I made a bold statement. If you so-called blacks and Hispanics do not keep the commandments, you ain't getting the kingdom. The That's most high God's not coming back for you. That's right. Black now we're gonna we're gonna read it. We're going to read it. Go ahead. The book of Revelation, chapter 14 and verse 12. Here is the patience of the saints. So here is the patience of the saints. Read. Here are they that keep the commandments of God. And what? That keep the commandments of God. And? And the faith of Jesus. Now, you don't get no more New Testament than Revelation. In Revelation, it says, keep the commandments and... The faith in Jesus Christ. Because that's what we're out here to do. We're here to pull down and destroy all the lies and hypocrisies of Christianity and other religions. Right. We're out here to pull down all the lies of philosophy in our men's and women's heads. Right. We're here to restore our people as a nation and come together under Christ. Bring it out. Read. The book of 1 Corinthians chapter 6 and verse 9. Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God. So sister, pay attention. Brother, pay attention. You, what's your name? Eli. Eli, pay attention. These are who's not getting the kingdom. Understand that. Read. Hallelujah. Be not deceived, neither fornicator. Having boyfriend and girlfriend, hopping around from man to man, from woman to woman, that is not getting the kingdom. Read. Right. No idolater. No idolater. Madre de Dios, Santa Mary, all of that, brujaria, santaria, all that crosses on your neck, crucifixes, rosary beads, that's not getting the kingdom. Read. No adulterer. No adulterers having sex out of wedlock, cheating on your spouses. Read. No effeminate. No effeminate walking around sashaying you men. You women being masculine all up in the men's faces, you're not getting the kingdom. Read. No abusers of themselves with mad kind. No, you homosexuals. You're not getting the kingdom. I don't care what Creflo said. The Bible said you're not getting the kingdom. No, Read. No thieves. No thieves. You stealers out there. You robbers of your people. Because when I walk through the hood, I ain't looking at Bob stealing from me. I'm looking at Jamal stealing from me. No, right. You thieves out there ain't getting the kingdom. Read. No covetous. You covetous. You guys who want to be like everybody trying to keep up with the Joneses. Blinding your hair. Straightening your hair. Trying to get the booty shorts of the week. Y'all ain't getting the kingdom neither. No, no drunkards. Yeah, hey, you brokers out there partying every seventh day. Some of y'all gonna be in the club tonight and in the morning gonna be in the church talking about hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. Y'all ain't getting the kingdom neither. No revelers. No revelers. You party, you strikers. Who guys always try to have a big ball. Nor extortioners. Nor extortioners, you lying pastors. 
stealing from my people. Right, no. What the heck does a pastor need with a $63 million jet That's and a $5 right. million dollar house when right. y'all can't eat at night? Hallelujah. Go and get in the kingdom. Nobody's ain't getting the kingdom, the children of Israel are getting the kingdom. The one who returns to the law, statutes, and commandments and keep the faith in Christ. Right. They are getting the kingdom. Right. Give me the prayer. Because the Christian church, hold this up. The Christian church likes to profess this man. Right. That's why when you see uh, the Borgias, you see this man. When you see Passion of the Christ, you see this man. When you see, Char uh, when you see uh, what's, that, what's that man? Uh, that, uh, that killer. What's that killer? Charles Manson. Charles Manson. You see this dude. You see him? This guy, is, he was a real person. Cesar de Borgia was the second son of Pope Alexander VI of Rome. Right. An actual real person. A pedophile, murderer, and an incestual person. Right. You understand? This is a real person. So this is what the Christian church puts up as Jesus. But John chapter 7 verse 38 says, He that believeth on me, as the scripture has said. Take your time, read the verse, it's all yes! the pictures. This is closer to what the Messiah Christ looks like. Right. He looks like you. So are they worshiping the wrong person? Yes, but this is what Christ told us to do when we pray. This is who Christ told us to ask for when we pray. Read the book of Matthew chapter six and verse nine. After this matter, therefore pray ye. Uh -huh. Our Father, which art in heaven, uh -huh. hallowed be thy name, uh -huh. thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth. Thy will, thy will, thy will. What's the will of God? What is the will? He said, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. So what's the will? Hallelujah. If that's supposed to be your prayer, should you not be following behind it? That's right. Do you want to be called a liar before God? When he gets here, he said, you said my will, but you're not doing it. So we got to know what the will of God is. That's important. They're not going to read this in your church. Right. Hold on, sis. Hold on, sis. Read. The book of Psalms, chapter 40 and verse 8. Recall that again louder. The book of Psalms, chapter 40 and verse 8. For all you so-called Christians and Catholics, the Most High God has a will. And we're about to tell you what that is. Pay attention. Hallelujah. I delight to do thy will, oh my God. King David says, I delight to do thy will, oh my God. Read. Yea, thy Hallelujah. law is within my heart. Thy what? Thy law is within my heart. No, hooping and hollering in the church. Thy law is within my heart. Your law, your law, your law is the will of God. Oh Will you pray? God. Let thy law be, let thy will be done on earth. You're saying, let thy law be done on earth That's and right. is in heaven. Right. Give me Matthew chapter 5, verse 48. Let's start off with that. The book of Matthew chapter 5 and verse 48. Sis, I got a question for you. Yes. Would Christ ever ask you to do something he knew you couldn't do? No. Okay. So, is anybody other than Christ perfect in the Bible? Yes. Yes. That's a great answer. That's a great answer. Hallelujah. So, and that was John the Baptist. And Job, and Moses, and Noah, and Abraham, and David. Right. All right? These are perfect men. All of these perfect men. So let me ask you another question. Can you be perfect? In Christ, yes. Because Read. Grace, he will the book of Matthew, chapter 5, and verse 48. Be ye therefore perfect, even as your father which is in heaven, is perfect. So how is our Father in heaven is perfect? What is our Father's will? What is He doing that makes Him perfect? He's keeping the laws. The same laws He told us to keep. You understand? Brothers, on the side, you got questions? Any of you guys got questions? Now, sis, do you understand what we just brought out? Yes. I'm Elder Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets up. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC. 
to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, please make sure you subscribe to this and join our UIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.